Oh yeah, welcome back to Minecraft Amplified number 9. Last episode was quite eventful because we we had an epic battle as the guardian of the fortress stood in our way of progression and I destroyed him in an epic battle with epic music and all kinds of epicness even though the word epic is probably on its way out. <laughs> so in this episode, since we found the fortress and got in here and everything's going quite smoothly, Oh crap, there's a blaze over there. Oh man, that could have been bad. Because you know, even with my armor, if that blaze, you know, comes after me. How the heck did he get over there? Is there another spawner that direction? Alright, I'm gonna go and chase him down and try to, try to survive. Oh, there's a, first of all, there's a skeleton. That's actually a good thing. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. See that? You wait till he fires because the interval is about 10 seconds or so. And yeah, I forgot that skeletons, I know the withers are like the black skeletons, but I forgot that the regular ones spawned in here. Oh, hey, random floating bone. Was that a trap? No. Nope, nope. I'll get this quartz while I'm here. So yeah, last last episode was, was pretty amazing. And I want all my episodes to be like that, man. I want them to be more exciting. All kinds of goodies and fun things happening because I have not died yet, and the survival of everything is just is part of the experience, man. So, okay. It looks as though this is a nan. I know I probably use creepy cave noises. I probably use too much unnecessary stone blocking that stuff off. But, um, yeah, see, because if I can't go these directions... I can't really explore this direction because there's lava in the way, and I still want to get. I want to. I have two rods. I need like ten or fifteen of them. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to have to do here, and this this isn't too bad when you do this, but I have to get rid of this lava, you know. Be very carefully. Go around. Don't get in my way. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Lava seems to be getting better about despawning, and there wasn't anything over here. Oh, all right, so all of this I can deem exploded and that and all that. And I'm not going to get the mushrooms right now because I can always come back here. Mushrooms are easy to find, and you only need one mushroom to to eventually get a whole crap ton. We know this because you can grow mushroom houses as long as you have an open space, and if you want it to be instant, a little bit of bone meal. Haven't done that in a while. Thought you might enjoy it. Okay, so all the all this quartz, all this has been explored, and it's time to get that back out of here. And go back and pick up some more blazer rods, and after that, because that's the hard part, finding the nether wart. There's I've never found any less than two gardens, and one time I found three. I usually you find two gardens of nether wart. In, in the nether and then that's it but uh, I gotta get a couple of more rods of blaze before I start exploring because we've oust ousted the other uh, avenues of, of exploration so now it's time to do some more epic battling if they would just get over here come on blazy poo I suppose I could handle it but alright see my chest plate armor is already gone so that's a little more dangerous and I know I could find my way back here if I had to. Oh my! Up, oh, see, there we go. See, now I'm caught on fire. I should have brought the golden apple, but I didn't. All right, come on, come here. See, you gotta get him to to come down here and kill him. And, oh, they're they're tricky. Come on, 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 come Okay, so that's... I better put the counter here so I know. Three rods. Or six... Whoa, six blaze powder. You need one to make the, the brewing stand in the first place, so we know that much. Uh, whoa. What's up? Every time I look, he fires at me. <laughs> it's not going to help you, blaze. If I go up there, it's going to destroy all my armor. Then I'll be in trouble. Oh, see, he didn't fire that time, but he came close. All right, he's coming down here now, so I can destroy him. And then there's another one over there. Whoa! Oh, no rods, man. What gives? Maybe I'm. You know what I might do? 
I think I'm too far away. They're not they're not taking the bait. And they're breathing really, really heavily. So I might have to kind of move up one here, like I did in the, the original Nether videos. That way I can... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, oh boy. Oh, there's a bunch of them up there now. Hmm. It's a good thing I did make that diamond sword. Now I'm glad that I did. Now I can... Whoa! Watch it, buddy! Watch it! Okay, here I go! I'm going to go in like a crazy person! I'm going to let him just come down here for me. Like that guy there? Yeah. See, that? that's easier. Because then I... I'm, it's very risky, but... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! Okay, get rid of the fire. See, if they hit you with the fire, you only burn for a couple of seconds. But if you... If you step in the fire, then you burn for a lot longer, and that that could be bad. You know, that's just no good. Uh, oh, yeah. See, now it's dangerous. I'm gonna. I was trying to get it so I could put that. Oh crap! Yes. Come on, give me another one. Show me what you got. Oh! <laughs> I am slick. Okay, but this is not what I was. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh boy. He could still see me. You know, they kind of look like. The blazes kind of look like. Uh, I don't want to say villagers, but. They, they have a face. And that makes them more creepy. They look at. Oh! Geez, I, I walked right into that one. I'm trying to get up here so I can have a better perspective on this. That way, when they drop down, you know, it's easier to punch them in the face. Oh, that one's glitching. There we go. Oh, oh you know what? He's gonna... Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Was burnt to a crisp while fighting a blaze. Okay, we'll do it the hard way. Oh. Sword was burnt to a... Okay, what happened to my bed? I had... Oh, I didn't make a bed. That's right. Well, that's okay. I know I know where I am. We're going this direction. See, there's my my... My chest that I originally came with. Oh my goodness! Did you like that jump, man? That was actually I was pretty high up. I didn't realize how far up I was. Okay, so I forgot to make a bed, which is hilarious. And I'm not too far from uh, where I was. There's the workbench in which I made the boat. So we're just going to yeah. See, there's the land ho. So I'm gonna go back to the spawn area. To go get my things. You know the routine. You know how it goes. Sometimes this is the way the cookie crumbles. Kind of disheartening, though, because I was on a roll. And I feel like my sugars have dropped. <laughs> ah! I was drinking coffee, sorry. I have to do that, man, because I just don't have the energy anymore. Ah! Stupid headset. It gets caught on the old headset. This is really not a good setup, man. Okay, here we go. We're back to land. See, that that wasn't too bad. I can still see that where I came from. Oh, jeez. Stupid, stupid skeleton. Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it? Is it? Why? Why, skeleton, must you always taunt me and haunt me with your nonsense and shenanigans? Oh, no, there's more. Running! Oh crap! These are worse than the blazes! At least then I had protection. I'm a sitting duck out here in the middle of the night. Oh wait, the, sun, the moon's setting, I think. Yes, the moon is setting. That's a good thing. This means all I have to do is get around here because I was here before. Right around the other side of this this side of the mountain is the, uh, the, the village. The only reason I went this way instead of the way I went in the first case is because this is desert. And it's easier to see mobs and danger at night in the desert because the, this is the lightest. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's underwater. Holy crap. This is the easiest uh, the way, way to see mobs at nighttime when you're standing in the desert because it's it's actually because there's not more light. It's because uh, it's just a brighter texture. So it's a good strategy. Of course, when, when random pillars of wall appear in front of you because the stupid game is CRM and you have this loading issue, I tend to rage! Oh, Jesus, like four skeletons and a spider! Ah! 
Ah! Oh, come on! Okay, trying again. It was probably better that it's daytime. <laughs> oh, hey, cow! Oh, man, that's death right there. <laughs> Why am I spawned so high in the air anyway? I was I didn't spawn this high the last time. No way. I was on like Y80. This is on like Y5. Oh crap! Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Wow. See, I, I died so quickly the game didn't even have a chance to despawn where I was. Unbelievable. Alright. So let's try it again. Fortunately. I don't have to worry about the nether because when you're in the overworld, the nether stuff is suspended in like this neither space kind of continuum. So I don't have to worry about the timers running out on the items because even in the age of Minecraft where all this these new items and advanced features, the items still despawn in five minutes. It's 300 seconds is the timer that you have to retrieve your things if you die and leave a death pile. The only exception to this is if you die in the nether and you're respawned in the overworld you will be gifted with all of your things no matter how long you take as long as you don't take more than five minutes in the nether once you get back there to retrieve them at all so it's kind of a toss-up between what is this what is this now is this the edge of the world now I can't even get back what are you doing game what are you doing internet come on why why is this happening to me oh and of course now I'm stuck what, what is this? See, this is this DRM bullcrap that I've been talking about, man. Now I actually am connected to the internet, and Minecraft is running worse than if I wasn't. Let me, un I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna unplug. I'm unplugging. I unplugged my internet. Whoa, loud sound. I just unplugged my internet, and I'm also going to uh, do a little F, uh, what is it? Oh, see, now we're running into all kinds of crap problems. What is what is the setting? What is it? What is the setting? Video, video settings, and I just changed the graphics to fast. And uh, no, no, no! I gotta change the actual uh, draw distance. Render distance, ten chunks. It doesn't have to be. Well, eight is the, like the the ideal, but I'll do ten. Okay, done. Back to game, and let's see if why isn't it loading? Why isn't it loading anything? I just <laughs> oh this game is making me rage well I've done an awful lot of screaming and yelling in this look at this I can't even break a block if I'm in the neither space I'm slowly making my way back onto the the, the world here but this is ridiculous I'm gonna have to start I'm gonna have to restart minecraft because of this crap are you kidding me notch Notch, do you hear me? This is unacceptable behavior. All right, guys. I'm, uh, I'm going to stop the video here because this is really weird what's happening. Come on, get back to land. Get back to land. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez. It just, it just cut everything off, man. I can't get back to the village now. I'm not going to give up, though. I'm just going to restart Minecraft and hope for the best and plug in my stupid internet again, even though I think that was part of the problem. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode because it was stupid! At any rate, stay awesome, check out the website, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and help grow the channel, man, because I really need it right now, and I'll just keep doing this and making you laugh and having fun if you help me out and watch and share. So, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the new 2014! Oh, yeah!